so welcome to this short video about galaxies. In this video, I want to just have a look at irregular galaxies and what they are, how they're different from other types of galaxy. So going back to the different types of galaxy, which we had a look at more in the other video, which you can check out at the top, we had the spiral galaxies and we had the elliptical galaxies and the differences between the two there. So elliptical galaxies were well, your older one, they don't have any gas in, they have older stars. Spirals are pretty much the opposite, with the exception they have spiral arms as well. But the irregular galaxies kind of sit there with the spirals because um, they've kind of got younger stars, ready to have star formation in them as well. But with the spirals and the ellipticals, you can actually have a classification for them too. You can give them a, a particular type or cl classify them a little bit further. So they're not just a spiral, they could be a, a late type spiral, they could be an early type spiral. Ellipticals are typically done with their actual shape. So, you know, if they're circular or more like a cigar shape, then you designate a particular number. But on the, this tuning, this galaxy classification tuning fork, the irregular galaxies sit off to the right. You can't really refine their classification much more than being irregular. There's a couple of things you can do, but because they're just irregular shapes, they don't have a, a structure which is common amongst them all. They're all very different. So they kind of sit in their own category, really. They're not really part of the main tuning fork diagram. So let's have a quick look at a few. Uh, they're generally not, they don't really have any kind of uniform or structure to them like a spiral galaxy would be or an elliptical. They're kind of distorted. Um, they're bent, they have unusual shapes in them, which is why they're called irregular. So another one here, this is nice when you can see some really bright blue regions, some bright red regions. They're quite bright as well. They're very distorted. You know, they're stretched in one direction, bent, some very unusual shapes happening there. Now this one might give you a clue as to where they come from and why they're irregular in shape. So here you've actually got two galaxies that are in the process of colliding with one another. So we know from observations that galaxies are colliding. Again, simulations help us refine that as well. But we've captured a lot of galaxies actually colliding in the midway through. This is kind of what irregular galaxies are. They're through that process where they're actually colliding and merging into a larger single galaxy. So we have a a really nice video here that demonstrates the collision of two galaxies really but it's not just about a simulation showing them colliding they're actually compared with images taken by the Hall Space Telescope so you can see that it's not just a theory we can match the simulations to the observations And the one key thing to really take away from this is that those images captured of these irregular galaxies are just at a slightly different stage as they merge. And you can see as they compare to the simulations. So what are the consequences of these galaxies actually colliding is that they have massive increases in star formation. So these spiral galaxies, when they collide, they've still got a lot of gas in them. But when they collide, that gas kind of gets compressed. It collapses into new stars. So you, they can be classified as like a starburst galaxy. And if you look really carefully, they're full of, of bright blue stars. These are young stars that have just formed during the merger process. So you can generally tell that it's undergone a merger at some point in the past because it will be undergoing massive amounts of star formation. And again, you can see those bright blue regions, you can see regions where there may be nebulas as well, where those stars are kind of illuminating the gas around them. But another consequence of them colliding is these spiral galaxies have black holes in the center. And when they collide, a lot of that gas kind of gets funneled down to the black holes and they become active. And this is an image of a galaxy not in the visible part of the spectrum. So the actual galaxy itself is, and then you've got these really high energy jets 
coming up perpendicular to the plane of the galaxy. Now you wouldn't see them in the visible part of the spectrum, but you see them in different wavelengths. And this is basically down to that black hole. So that black hole has got matter falling onto it, it's got a, a disk around it, and it's sending these high energy jets out. And typically, when a galaxy has undergone a merger, we see these active black holes at the center. It's quite a common feature, actually. So even if the galaxy doesn't look that distorted, if it's showing this sort of behavior, it's quite likely that it's undergone a merger at some point in its past. So thank you for watching.